Aloha. This time I'm going to be showing you in this video the green vegetable smoothie. Now the green vegetable smoothie is really a foundational piece of the Cleanse and Rejuvenate program. I've been doing this for about 20 years now in the morning and then I started saying wait a minute I can just make this for dinner too so I just make up a double batch in the morning. So let's look at our vegetable green smoothie. Now why do we want a fresh green vegetable smoothie? Well, one, it's easily absorbed. Two, it's essentially already pre-digested. Three, it has maximum nutrition and fiber. And that's really what we want, the nutritional value and the fiber. So when we look at leafy greens, and we've got a good array of leafy greens, and this is pretty much what I use every day, we should know that they're healing, they're protective, they help us. They keep the body strong, they're good for the immune system, the cardiovascular system. It's an alkaline food source, so it ensures the good, healthy microbiota of our gut, which is what we want, loaded with fiber. By eating this, it actually brings joy, because what we're doing by alkalizing our system, we're actually helping our cells and tissue to a higher vibrational frequency. I can't think of anything else than fresh, local, organic produce to live off of. The kale, the kale itself is high in calcium. It's high in manganese, copper, potassium, magnesium, vitamin C, vitamin K, beta carotene such as lutein and zeaxanthin. These are also extremely high in sulforaphane, something known as indole-3-carbonyl, which is actually repairs the DNA, the damage to our DNA, and it's also anti-cancerous. So I really enjoy the kale, and another big player in my smoothie is going to be the spinach. Now, spinach, vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin K, folate, high in iron, leafy green, chlorophyll rich, good in fiber. It's just got too many advantages and too many pluses not to play with it. So let's look at how we can prepare this. What I want to do is I want to get a nice Vitamix. I use a high-speed blender. Vitamix is my choice. I'm going to take about two of these kale, maybe three because that was a small one. So we'll take three of the kales, and I'm going to strip them off. I'm going to actually, what I like to do is take it off the rib and just use the leaf itself. So as I'm taking it off there, I'm going to save my ribs from my kale to help for my next project, which is going to be soup. But anyway, here we go. So we got my kale in there. And then I'm going to go for my next partner over here, and I'm going to take some spinach leaves, and I will take... Ooh, about a handful of spinach leaves. So I got my spinach in there now. Then I'm gonna take parsley, my friend parsley, high in zinc, so good for you guys, for us guys, for our prostate, so rich for our immune system. And I'll take about oh, a palmful of parsley, cilantro, also known as coriander, Chinese parsley. I like the whole aspect of cilantro. I'll take a good amount. And what I'm going to do is I also have the roots from this one because I got it at the farmer's market this morning. I'm going to cut the roots off and I'm going to save the roots and put it over here with my kale ribs. Pretty much this is our simple one. And all I'm going to do is I'll add in some cucumber. And cucumber, I just love this stuff. This is the kind of stuff that you just like to take off and cut into slices and just chew. Eat it in the movie theater, go for a hike. Anyway, we got cucumber in there and this is our pretty much our simple what I do is I take my green drink and I'll drink half of this during the day and I'll save half of it keep it in the fridge overnight I'll make it in the morning drink half during the day save half for the next morning and the next morning half of that gets poured into my breakfast smoothie and one more thing half an apple Take a good, nice apple, good organic. Nowadays, here up in Kula, we have local organic apples that are being fresh picked off the trees, which are delicious. So, I'll take my apple, in goes the apple, voila, simple smoothie. Now, if I wanted to make my deluxe smoothie, which I basically want my deluxe smoothie, I'm gonna add some other ingredients to it. These are microgreens. This is broccoli, radish, clover, flax, these are all different seeds that have been sprouted in earth up to small little shoots and then cut. So for my deluxe smoothie, I'll put in some 
microgreens, and of course, what would a smoothie be without some sunflower greens? Again, microgreens, sunflowers. I like them, so I'll just put a hole in there. These are lentil sprouts. I like lentil sprouts. They're good for protein. I appreciate that. And we'll put that in there. And then this is a mixed sprout. This is alfalfa and broccoli sprouts with some other flax, clover, and radish sprouts. And then I'm going to add into it some buckwheat greens. Again, microgreens. Microgreens to me are a really important part. Microgreens and sprouts are extremely high in nutrition. Speaking of high in nutrition, moringa. Now, moringa is usually high. It usually comes from the South Pacific. Filipino um, community is really uses a lot of this. Now, it's gaining more popularity as a superfood because of so much nutrition and the protein in the moringa. I'll strip off the leaves, off the stem. I'll take the leaves and I will put that into my deluxe smoothie. So now I've got my moringa going in here as I kind of make a skeleton out of this. There is the end. Put that into my little compost area there. Went out and harvested some dandelion greens. Not sow grass, which people confuse for dandelion greens, but these are true dandelion greens. Super incredible. Bitter tasting. Good for cleansing the blood. Extremely beneficial for the liver. In goes the dandelion greens. I like mint. So I'll go out and, again, in the garden, I've got a mint patch, and I'll take some mint, and I'll just strip it off and put some mint into this super deluxe green cabbage. Again, super high in nutrition, very good for the stomach. I'm just going to take about, oh, I wouldn't say more than that is all I need for that, and into the smoothie it goes. Now, a couple little extra add-ons that I appreciate and that I like. This is a gobo or a burdock root. And I'm going to take about an inch and a half piece of gobo, burdock, and I will cut that up. Make little pieces out of it. Excuse me, Mr. Kale. And put that in over here. Take the burdock root into the Vitamix blender. Ginger. Good old local ginger. Love the stuff. Anti-inflammatory. Incredibly good for digestion, good for the lungs. Has so many properties to it. Ginger is one of those foods that is so used in all cultures for medicinal and for flavor. So I'll take the ginger. Cut up my ginger, add it in, olena, turmeric, <clears throat> very good for the liver. It's a very good hepatic protective. It's good for so many things, anti-inflammatory, but I like it for the liver aspect of it because the liver does so many words, I mean, so much work. It's just so important to have a good, healthy, clean liver. So I'll cut up the turmeric, nice, rich color. I love it. Aloe vera. Now, aloe vera is one of my favorites. Um, aloe vera grows pretty much all over the world. There's different types. This variety is what I like. I like a good meaty gel. You can get the kind with the white specks, or you can get the kind that's a little bit on the faded brown-looking side. My preference is just a, it's good aloe vera. It's antiviral. It's antibacterial. It's antifungal. It's antiparasitic. It's, it's, it's got so many properties to it. It's antiseptic. It's antiseptic. It's... It's analgesic. It even helps relieve pain. Now, we know it as putting it on for topical, but I like to use it topically and internally. So I've got a nice piece of aloe off the plant, harvested it just a little while ago. I'll take about, ooh, maybe a three-inch slice, and we need to fillet the aloe vera. So we take the aloe. I have the aloe vera, and I'm going to Whoop, take off the spikes on the side. I do not want the sap unless I really want to go to the bathroom real fast because it's loaded with latex and it will definitely move the balls. So then I'll come in and after I take off the sides of the aloe, the spikes, I'll come right underneath the skin. And just like you would fillet anything else, you're just going to come right underneath and slowly come across, taking off the skin. And I have a nice meaty gel. I'll come in and I'll now fillet the gel off the bottom. And I've got myself a nice piece of aloe vera gel. In it goes. This is apple cider vinegar. And my, the apple cider vinegar I use, you probably can maybe see, I hope so. It's got turmeric, ginger, and garlic, and red Hawaiian chili peppers in it. So I marinate them and let the flavor go into the apple cider vinegar. 
This is about two tablespoons. Two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. Now I want the acidic aspect of the lemon from the green drink and the apple cider vinegar because it's going to help digestion. One caveat, buyer beware with this smoothie. I'm using a lot of brassica, cruciferous vegetables. They can be called goitrogenic, which means that they can inhibit the thyroid. Specifically, your cabbage and your kale are high cruciferous vegetables. If you're having a thyroid or a hypothyroid Hashimoto situation, then maybe you're going to leave these out. If not, please bring them in. And if you do want to bring them in, add a little kelp powder to it. Add a little seaweed, maybe some dulse flakes to this green vegetable smoothie. I know I use, when I make my own sprouts, I will soak my seeds to make sprouts. I even add kelp into the soaking water so my seeds that I'm going to sprout will absorb the trace minerals and the iodine that comes off of the sea vegetables. So I use kelp in a lot of ways. So if there's a, goiter, a goitrogenic situation, hypothyroid, please add some kelp or add some seaweed into it. Now, last but not least, these are red beet crystals. Red beet crystals are so important. The red beets are rich in iron, but more so, I like it for the nitric oxide. Nitric oxide is extremely beneficial for the heart, for the lungs, for the muscles, oxygenation. So when you think of beets, think of nitric oxide, think of oxygen, think of good, strong, healthy heart, think of healthy muscles, but also that loaded with iron, which promote your red blood cells. So I'm going to put, let's see, that's about one teaspoon, two teaspoons of the beet powder in it. I will add some good water to bring it up just about to the top of the vegetables so I have enough fluid to make my two quarts. There it is. Um, now I'm ready to go. All I got to do now, put on the top, put on the blender, and ready to go. Well, now that we've blended up in the Vitamix, a high-speed blender, our little green drink here, I'm now going to pour the green drink, which is so yummy tasty, into my bottle for breakfast and my bottle for dinner. So now I've got my vegetable smoothies ready to go. I can have one for breakfast and I can have one for dinner tonight. Maximum nutrition, incredible. This is the stuff that is the foundation of the Cleanse and Rejuvenate program. The vegetable smoothie, the green drink, this is all you really basically need. But during a cleanse situation, we do need to have extra nutrition. That's why we're going to take in some supplements like we put in the green drink, because as the body detoxifies, it needs the extra help. And also, as it rejuvenates, it's good to have the materials it needs to build new cells and tissue. So, there we go with the vegetable smoothie. I hope you enjoy yours as I do mine.